You got me in this PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh my god, last night I have no idea what's going on. My belly was so bad, I can't really sleep, so I feel bored. Something interesting, which is a chunky sweater. I found something I really like. Here, however, when I look at the price, it's over $300. I don't think I can afford it. So I decided to make this chunky sweater by my own head. Seriously? I have no idea how to knit it, how to cross it. Huh? I'm going to start it. I have some idea how to make this beautiful chunky sweater. So let me bring you to my mystery chunky sweater. So the pattern is very simple, just a one big rectangular block and two small rectangular blocks and two slips. So I select the three colors. The yarn is 100% wool and very soft and warm. So to start with, I use a needle to knead it. The texture turned out extremely heavy and thick, which I don't like it. I prefer the crochet made by hand much softer and thinner. In order to get thinner and softer texture crochet, I decided to made by hand and start over all of them. About the size is really depend on how large you want. So make sure the two pieces block needed to be the same wide with the back block. The two pieces block need to be the same size, same width, same tall. It's really easy and simple. It's so fast that surprised me. I thought it's going to take me forever to make this sweater. Eventually, it's just like three hours. That's so it surprised me. So here is my two pieces block and uh, now I'm making the back block. Again, just make sure the two pieces blocks width need to be the same width of the back block. So to start now with I'm my making sleeves, I just my sleeves. Um, something like this, I don't know how to say that. And then I'm going to circle it like a small circle. So this circle just uh, have to be the size of your arm circle. If you want a bigger, loser, you can make it bigger. So this is my size. Once it uh, reaches your ideal size, just uh, make uh, a small turn and then connect uh, the other end of this yarn or this crochet 
so that you can get a circle sleeves. Once you connect, you just keep uh, making like a two or three circle. Afterwards, you need to make that larger so you can have uh, like uh, the bottom is smaller and the back is a larger size or wider. So make sure you need to add more need stitches afterwards after like a two or maybe like a three four whatever your idea length for the bottom of the sleeve now i'm adding the stitches so i just uh, pour out a little uh, extra stitch on that top and I keep knitting it. That's how I made it. So I just add one stitch, each stitch, between each stitch. I hope that makes sense. Oh ho, I finally finished it. This is two pieces of blog and this is my sleeves and everything is ready. So I'm going to connect them together. As I run out of my yarn, I don't have enough. So I have to redo and then get the extra yarn out. I use the rest of the yarn which I used for cast off on each pieces as that extra yam to connect each other. It works eventually, I'm glad. I work really hard and then connecting everyone and the, I'm keep connecting. I know it's going to turn out great. It is going to turn out great. Oh my god, almost there. I'm so excited. As a small business owner, I have to wear many hats. I use my laptop 24-7. I need to be able to rewind technology. My name is Eric Ong, founder of Humble Potato. Get time on your side like Eric from Humble Potato with Lenovo's X1 Yoga. Powered by the Built for Business Intel V Pro platform, delivering business class performance for a great user experience. Visit www.lenovo.com slash get time on your side to learn more.
Yeah, finish it. I can't wait. So I started to put it on and see what's the size and everything. It seems so great.